Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm Tony. I'm Kelly's husband. And, and we own the Royal V Yarn Company. <laughs> which is a store in Pacifica, California. But yep. I'm also a teacher in Pacifica. Yep. And um, if you haven't were, um, watched the first couple of episodes, we also have our own um, yarn, which is the Royal V Yarn Company Purple Couch Collection, which we named after various different members of our stitch group, which we call the Hive. And um, our yarn, because we are kind of crunchy granola, um, is um, made from happy sheep um, here in the U.S. and then um, milled by a husband and wife team nearby the farm and then hand dyed in all natural uh, dyes. This one is that's not dyed. Not is it? Dyed. There's no dye. That's yeah, the naked no one. So that's the naked a, one. This is a naked one. Cover no, naked. <laughs> oh, and you know how we know that it's podcast day. We washed. We washed. We washed. It's we podcast washed. day. Yeah. That means we've it's, had yeah. showers yeah. and washed. Yeah. Change clothes. Yep. New socks. Yep. But you're kind of seeing us raw because, like, I've got roots. My nails are about ready to fall off. My beard is very unkempt. <laughs> I like your beard like that. I think it looks really good. Well. Wow. <laughs> and we had a couple requests. Like we, we did. Actually, we, did. we actually had some letters. <laughs> emails well, yeah. of requests yeah so um, and they were um they wanted to know more about our tattoos which i thought was a really interesting question and um what else what oh more yarn squishing more so yarn I, squishing. Like, I told tony don't squish the yarn after the first one so I did some warm -ups. <laughs> Well, not everybody, but a few people were like, Some oh. more squishing. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> so apparently that's going to become a thing. So brace yourself, people. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit. That was exercise. <laughs> was it? Yeah. <sighs> Sweat. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, we got yeah. lots of things to talk about today. Yeah, yeah. Let's so start with... What were you up to? What are you up to? What am I up to? Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah, well, I'm on spring break, which is um, for British viewers, it's uh, it's kind of Easter because it's Easter <laughs> Sunday today and um, spring break usually falls on that week, I believe. And because um, of the quarantine, we're still under COVID-19. I'm going to turn the camera just slightly towards you, babe. Oh. I like um, it better on you. Yeah. You me too. Me too. But anyway, but um, what have I been doing? Just not just basically helping with the shop really we've been here doing a, doing a lot um delivering we're doing a lot of doorstep delivery that's yeah thank you I so love, much thank you thank you thank love you, the thank doorstep you. thank you so much i really enjoy driving around in a van delivering stuff it's really fun it's really fun <laughs> it is fun it's i'm thinking really of fun <laughs> joining ups i get to wear a brown shirt you'd look cute in that <laughs> No, brown's not my colour. But um, <laughs> but that's what I've, I've been doing on my spring break is helping Kelly with the shop. Yeah. And shop I, is still here, you know, we're, yeah. we're, we're still alive. Yep. This is entering week five, week five. of COVID-19. Yep, and we've been um, doing a few little online orders and uh, the doorstep delivery has been very fun. Mm -hmm. And we've say? spoken to some celebrities in the yarn world who want yeah. to be on our show, which we is do. great. Well. We've got we've got a couple people well, we're gonna, lined up. We've got a yeah, couple people couple lined people up. Lined, yeah. And actually, um, next week, a FIFA from FIFA Knits is mm -hmm. going to come and join us. And um, we're kind of cheating a little bit because she's a personal friend of ours. And so um, she's going to start to ask Tony a little bit of yarn trivia because I better get Lisa. studying <laughs> yeah. my yarn trim. <laughs> we've decided he needs because, as you know, I know nothing about yarn. <laughs> It comes from sheep, and that's it. <laughs> but I'm willing to learn. That's what I'm going to learn. I'm learning. Let me drink another sip of my beautiful curried coffee. <laughs> Actually, um, if you've ever been to the shop, you'll know that there's a sandwich place around the corner. This is a mm. blatant plug. Yeah. They do the best sandwich. They're called dinosaurs. Yeah, it's Vietnamese bon mi sandwiches. They're yeah. so delicious. Yeah. They're amazing. Just have a... A sandwich yeah. there if we're actually vegetarians but um we've been yeah, cheating kinda, quite yeah, old yeah, yeah. We've been but we did well today we did we do had, well today um, portobello mushroom portobello mushroom sandwich yeah, it was really really and good and a bucket of chicken 
<laughs> and but the sandwich I recommend those sandwiches they're fantastic and they're all gloved up and masked and um, they're, they're a great sandwich place that was a plug okay what are we going to talk about today well we are going to talk about I don't know what we're going to talk about tattoos <laughs> yeah tattoos <laughs> tell us about oh okay so the very first tattoo that we ever got <laughs> was in Newport in South Wales with my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. That was your first tattoo, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was your first. Oh, no, it wasn't your first tattoo. Oh, my gosh, I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, you got to get your first tattoo out. Show everybody your first tattoo. It's, so it's on my arm. Don't panic. It's really <laughs> don't, don't panic. It's on my arm. Our nieces and nephews were like, oh, it's like those crackers. I can't remember what they called. Crackers. Goldfish crackers. <laughs> is this we're really gonna do this? Okay. This is my first one. It was supposed to be a shark. I got it in Vegas. Um it cost sixty bucks and uh, it was really painful. Then that was when I got in Amsterdam with That's Kelly's right, name on. That. I was in Amsterdam watching EastEnders, which is a British soap opera while getting a tattoo. This one is me and my brother. We like this. I saw a a band. Look, my arm is so pale. It looks like a. Oh my god, it's so pale. <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> um, looks like a dead haddock. <laughs> but my ta yeah, my brother and I. Uh, there's a band me and my brother like, um, and uh, the lead singer has this tattoo, and uh, I we got it before we came to America. What else is on there? So I got, yeah, and I got a lot more. Yeah, lot he more. likes math. He likes science. He's a teacher. Uh, oh yeah, a jellyfish. A jellyfish. Yeah. Uh, jellyfish tattoo. For the ocean. And on the other arm, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big Jaws fan. Not sharks necessarily, but Jaws. So I got that one. And I like flying places. <laughs> Travel. And then my tattoo of shame is a tribal dragon. <laughs> which I'm not that proud of. Oh, oh and then you, um, your little fly. Oh, yeah. Your little fly. The Brazilian. Oh, and that fly. There's a long story behind the fly. Tell so. them the story. Uh, another, oh. That's another day. Okay, that's... drop trouser. No. <laughs> okay, we'll show you a picture later of he got me as like a pinup mermaid because he always called me mermaid hair. And then on one birthday, he surprised me and he got like a pinup version. And it's actually really um, sweet because, you know, Tony has always said, hey, I really, I love your plus size figure. I've been plus size most of my life. And I, I thought he loved me and, you know, maybe he was just trying to comfort me a little bit um, about the whole plus size thing. And then when he got this pinup and it's like, you know, kind of my body type um, as a mermaid, I was like, oh my gosh, he was not lying. Like, he really, <laughs> he's not lying. So that was really, really sweet. It was very romantic. I can see where you losing some yarnies. I'm going to do a quick <laughs> yarn stretch. This color is called... Nancy's Victorian Tea Party. Nancy's one of our regulars here. I oh. like it because there's like a flash of yellow in it. Yeah, a little flash of yellow. But it's uh, even better when you squish it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Okay. And, and then, I got some other ones. Yeah, there. I've got a ton of tattoos. We'll do me some other day. Yeah. But it's mostly... I um, started getting tattooed, well, for fun. And then also um, where I started was on my upper arms because I didn't really like that part of myself. Show sheep. Show sheep. And, oh, yeah, and I have my sheep. I have sheep. I have sheep. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my latest. I think you can see them. Anyway. Beautiful detail if you went really close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. So. So yeah. that's our tattoos. Yeah. I've got some others on my leg as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I, my I, my kids, my third graders were fans oh, of Lemony that's Snicket. A good one. That's a really <laughs> Lemony, good one. you gotta show it that. Lemony Snicket, and I would read the Lemony Snicket books, and the main protagonist antagonist is Count Olaf. He's an eye tattoo. Yeah. So I sharpied an eye on my leg once when I was reading it. I scratched my leg, and the kids were like, oh, "He's got a tattoo of an eye on his leg. You're Mister. You're Count Olaf." And one of the kids said, you should get that as a tattoo. And I said, is that a den? And he said, yeah. So I did. So I got an eye. It's kind yeah. of not really Count Olaf-y. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> He's 
that bee socks on. I do. My lace is undone like a 10 year old. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. 10 minutes we've been talking already. Do we need another squish? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah, later. Maybe. maybe later. So today I was going to talk a little bit about one of the yarns that I carry in the shop that I think is really um, very, very special. Uh, it's Prosper Yarns and uh, Les is the yarn dyer. She is actually, um, she has a really interesting story. She was, I believe, um, an architect here in the US and then moved to uh, New Zealand. And she is supporting the last woolen mill out there, which is really, really cool, and using a heritage breed sheep uh, for New Zealand to make her yarn. And What's a is... heritage breed sheep? I know the answer, but let me okay, just you, you, test. You, you... <laughs> Do you know the answer? No, Do you? Okay. No, a heritage breed sheep <laughs> is a very old breed of sheep. Well, it's basically, you know, the the sheep are really, they believe, indigenous to um, Spain and uh, parts of Asia, I think. I'll have to double check that. Um, and then it's believed that sheep as part of our... Um, becoming, uh, going from being nomads to, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, settled agriculture, the sheep was integral to that. But so they're like the our... earliest herded right. animals that we herded. Well, I don't know whether they're the earliest or not, but they're one of the earliest. And they're, um, they're definitely um, an important part of our evolution in terms of civilization. And this was an early... Uh, New Zealand breed, which I believe is a cross between Merino and Rambouillet. And this has a teeny little bit of tooth to it um, and a, a loft and a fluff. This is the fingering weight, which I, I have both fingering and DK. And really the fingering works up like either a very heavy fingering or um, almost like a light sport weight. And um, it's just beautiful. It's eminently squishy. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I think that's enough for this. Um, <laughs> so, right yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and this one is called uh, Not Old Lady Red. And I thought I would show you the various different colors that I carry in the shop. And again, I believe I'm the only place in the U.S. that's carrying Prosper yarns, but I could be wrong about that. This is called Cumberbatch. Um, I wonder if that's named after the actor, yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. Could be. I don't know. This one's called Patience. Um, I tried working with this, but I gave up. So. <laughs> you just make that up. That <laughs> yeah, totally. really this one's called Blossom after the 90s sitcom. <laughs> Probably not. This one's called I'm the Moss. I like that color. That's a nice green. That's going to get yeah. a squish in. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, sweet, sweet Manuka. I don't know what Manuka is. I don't either. Somebody will tell us. And this one's called Green Eyed Cat. It is very green. Yeah. That actually does look like a cat's eye. Although I think it's named maybe after a person, I think Patricia told me. Our yachter introduced me to um, this particular yarn because she went on a family vacation to New Zealand and she met the yarn dyer and introduced us. And oh. then we started chatting over email and and hence, um, I ordered the yarn because I was just very um, carried away with kind of what she's doing in New Zealand. And so, are you going to show us something that's been made out of it? Her stuff is as kind of earthy as mine is. I could. I I didn't plan to, but funny well, you enough, should. what color is that? This is I. You know what? I sold out of this color. So oh, sorry, I sold out. Need to hold it close to see the the knit. Yeah, that's in the DK the weight though. So you can see kind of the loft and fluff of it, uh, but it's a lovely little, like, lovely cowl. Oh, it's a cowl. There we go. Good. Yeah. You could use that as a mask. You could. I don't know if that would be very effective, but you certainly could. I tried. So that's I tried. The, <laughs> so that's the um, that's the Prosper yarn 
uh, that I wanted to show you that we carry in the shop. And if there's a color that you love, of course I don't, the only yarn that I have online is my yarn, but you could absolutely take a screen grab and email me at the Royal Bee Yarn Company at gmail.com. And it is the whole, the Royal Bee Yarn Company at company spelled out. I didn't think that through. <laughs> when I, when the I, Royal Bee Yarn Company at, at gmail.com. Gmail yeah. So um, you can email me with a screen grab if there's a color that you love. And um, the fingering comes in, let's see, what's the, I, I don't have my reading glasses on. I can read oh, it. Oh, 400 meters. So it's about 10% more in yards. You could wrap that around an athletic track because 400 meters is one lap of a track. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying my best. so far as to say opposite but um are you looking I, at another yarn there, I, yeah, oh yeah 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 so uh, yeah so here's another yarn uh, that we carry in the shop um it's actually the stuff that you're seeing behind us and like i said i wouldn't go so far as to say like it's opposite but it kind of is opposite i like to have a lot of indie dyers and different things that i think people can't find elsewhere. But then I also have like staple yarns and some yarns that are more affordable. I wanna make sure that no matter what your budget is for yarn, that if you come into the shop that you have something that is um, wonderful and luxurious that you can enjoy at different price points. And this one's at a really, really good price point and it's really surprisingly fantastic. And it's, um, it's called a uh, Barocco Summer, Summer Silk. And it's a blend of um, silk, cotton, and nylon. And this is one I just wish you could feel. It's so heavenly. It feels like the absolute, like, perfect um, sort of summer weight yarn. It's only $15. It comes in all these, like, super beautiful colors. It's perfect for spring and summer. And I probably, I sh if I had planned, if we were organized, if we were doing something, <laughs> don't ruin the yarn um, <laughs> too much. That's very soft. That it. It's so soft. That, it's really I've seen soft. young yeah. folk do this. That's really soft. It's really soft. It is. It's you can really fall soft. asleep to that. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> don't put that back. I'm going to have to Lysol it now. Um. <laughs> Just joking. Um, so um, yeah, so this is so beautiful. Just <laughs> I did tell you guys I was a germaphobe, right? <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is beautiful. This is a super lovely yarn and I have this in a whole bunch of different colors. So I have um, pink and you can probably see a whole bunch of the other colors and I have some darker colors too um, behind me. So um, there we go. It's good, we do have a lot of yarn. Yeah. We do. We have a lot of yarn in the shop, yeah. and we're gonna try to we're just we're gonna try to like feature a couple um every every single yeah. time. we don't want this we to have... be a blatant no, plug know. for the it's royal true. bee. You know, the royal Even bee. Though... <laughs> we don't want to it to be that blatant. You know, that obvious. Um, you know, the podcast is a blatant plug. It's just yeah, it's the true. whole point of it is we're trying to survive we're, and yeah, we're we surviving. Are, we're trying to survive. And the other, survive. and the other thing is that, um, well, you know, all of this, like, you know, stuff that's going on, we are trying to do something a little lighthearted, but that's, I'm repeating myself from the yeah, previous Yeah, we're trying to keep this um, um, lighthearted and funny. It's yeah. scary times, you know. Yeah. And, you know, as we know, we, we did have to give up selling yarn last yeah. week to sell yams. Yeah. <laughs> for a very yeah. short time and we didn't do very well at all we um we got potatoes these are not yams i was really disappointed i can't believe you it's actually it's not as squishy as so you expect corny. i can't believe you actually did that well bring in a potato I think, yeah i think this is gonna end up on the cutting room floor no, it's not. <laughs> people want to see this i do not want to see this <laughs> I'm going to cook that. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Roast tonight. Yeah. Cook it. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, oh, and, okay, so we were always saying, hey, you don't want to just see us. We know you don't want to just see us. So we're, um, we're going to have special guests. 
we have our first special guest yes, and we, we figured Very out excited. we're like oh well we're zooming all of our friends and family and stuff why don't we just zoom in our special guest of course Aha. zoom is all the rage Duh. we just plugged so, zoom yeah <laughs> so we know a lot of people who we want a special guest to actually be here and they will be here in the shop but for now why yeah. don't we just put them on people zoom it doesn't make any people difference to you so um it's... we asked our good friend um Afifa. Afifa from fifa knits she's an amazing designer she's local she's local yeah uh she lives in oakland berkeley oakland okay oakland I, yeah she, yeah. she lives in the East Bay. She's local ish. Yeah. And um and she's, we love her we, so much. I met We're... her at your we when you did that dinner at High Tire yeah. I, and I'm kind of a shy person. I'm kind of quite shy and introvert. <laughs> and if I sit next to a stranger, I don't usually make the first yeah, move and yeah. talk to them. But yeah. I just sat next to this person and we just started talking straight away and that's very rare. So yeah. that was nice. And then she was at Stitches. Well, she works for Stitches as well as being a designer and she does classrooms and okay. all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that bit. <laughs> so, she's, she's going to be our first yeah, guest, our yeah, Zoom guest yeah. next week. And because she's our friend, I was like, would you do this? And she was like, absolutely. And then she was like, I know what I should do. Um, I should ask Tony some yarn trivia. So, that's going to be amusing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll laughs, see how well he does. Laughs, la laughs plenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> I was just going to say, I, it's like looking at my brother when we watch these back to us as we, we kind of edit, I edit them together and then we watch them before we put them on YouTube. I don't Which know takes why forever. we watch them takes, because honestly, it's like watching my brother, it's... Dave, it's, it's like looking in a mirror, <laughs> like a, a mirror where everything's slightly more handsome, but, you know, but, um, but, um, yeah. I hope you know we 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 were talking about where we want to do with this show. And it's not just going to be us against this wall of yarn. It's going to be we want to you know we go when we go but to Britain we'll yeah. we'll take you with us and we'll yeah. do a podcast from Britain. We might do one yeah. from the beach, which is just down the road when yeah. quarantine is over. We might do one from Our Idaho home. if we go and visit <laughs> Dragon Horde. We might you know except for she's in Utah. What did I say? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, Tristan. Utah. Utah. I, Idaho, Utah. Way, way off. I'm British. I can get away with it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we want to do that. We want to... We wanna, we're going to go on location. You know, we might do one from we our lofty house. lofty plans. Lofty plans. This is only the beginning. Plans. It's only the beginning. Totally, like, off-the-cuff <clears throat> podcast. Yes. Letting us know what you yeah, like. Yeah, tell us what you, what you want like. us to do. Tell us what you want to um, see. Within reason, we will do it. Yeah. <laughs> and we're um, <laughs> um, but yeah, we we you know, and Kelly had the idea of watching some other podcasts that, and I thought, you know, when Pink Floyd, sorry, this is so boring. When Pink Floyd went into the studio to make an album, they made it a point of not listening to any contemporary music to get inspired, so that everything they did was their own. And we're kind of like the Pink Floyd <laughs> of <laughs> serious Pink Floyd of podcasts. Dark side of the loom. <laughs> um, and we we want to, we want to we want to be kind of original and different and you know. We, we, uh, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So these podcasts, you know, they're just completely made made up and they're, they're really. They know that. They're really fun to do. I look forward to doing this. And you do, because I have we no hope... idea what's going to come out of your mouth, and it cracks me up. <laughs> Spinach. <laughs> but you didn't expect that, did you? Um, so, so that's basically these podcasts are going to be like that. But we're going to talk about yarn. We're going to do some lessons. You're going to do some lessons. I was going to do some lessons, but I was thinking about doing that separate to this, because um, I've had um, several requests for people to... Um, a learn to knit and I think I'd mentioned that I'm gonna do um, little kits for the community uh, which I've, we've started putting together but it's taking us a little bit of time I was a little bit ambitious to think that I could get that together in a week it's gonna yeah. be a couple of weeks um, and Tony's been doing all the skates. little mini skates this one ready, doesn't, this one which honestly I, I, I thought about it and I was like oh I'll the do a first... mini scrunch <laughs> 
I bought the, uh, you know, and I didn't really think it through because I probably really should have put those in little balls for people. So the first lesson is going to be like, here's how you, you know, here's how you make, <laughs> make a ball out of sense of Tony's mini <laughs> And then, so. um, yeah, so I've been working on a little curriculum for that. And I yeah. was saying that curriculum. I wanted Tony to, um, to actually film me, um, doing the various different, um, yeah. stitches and, uh, the way in which I would normally teach the classes. And some of our hive, when, you know, we miss our oh hive. Gosh, uh, these ladies oh and gentlemen gosh. of the hive, uh, they've got some amazing talent and skills and we want to bring them into the way podcast. Way beyond me. It's not going to just be yeah. me and Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, I promise. Um, so. Anyway. Bye. So. Well, listen, we will yep. be back next week. We're going to keep doing these on a weekly basis. Yep. And even post-COVID, our plan is to keep doing these. Yep. And, and they're going to get longer. Longer. And, and you, you know, we will not blame you if you fast forward. And, <laughs> and I can't wait to my next wash. <laughs> so we can do our next podcast. Remember washing people? Do you remember, like, getting out of your pajamas and washing? Do you remember going to places Remember places? Who remember places? places? And what about restaurants? I I want to go to a restaurant. Oh my God, I'm really missing restaurants. Yeah, I know. Oh, I've learned something really funny about you during this. Like we've been, we're going like in December um, 27th will be our 30th wedding anniversary. Yeah. And since we've been together so much, I learned something about you that What's I didn't that? know. I mean, not that I don't, not that you. Oh, we've learned some things about things all the time. But did like Tony won't sometimes when he eats he'll, he'll like choke a little bit on his own like food or spit or whatever. Turns out he does that all the time. Like he constantly is choking himself. And what have you? Is there, <laughs> <laughs> um, he'll, he'll like breathe in and start choking. Like, yeah, <laughs> I find as you get older before. As, I, as I've got old, I just randomly choke on my saliva. I'll just be sitting there reading a book and I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, I mean, it's, <coughs> it's like that. It's just random. It's, it's just like, random. and and the catchphrase in our house is, guess what I just did? And she'll start and then, laughing and say, you choked on your saliva. Is there something you've like yes. noticed about me? Kelly, when she's really concentrating, she'll go, oh, I know it. <laughs> like even when it's breathing. like the slightest, she'll go, and I'll say, baby, you're puffing again. And she'll go, oh, just add a big one. She'll go, shh. And she gets it all out in one big puff. I think people would have stopped watching by now. I think they've definitely stopped watching by now. We can do whatever we want, though. I know. I'm anyway. It yeah. yeah, we're going to make some more. This one's this one's a little bit longer. I'm looking at the time. Ooh, yeah, we, yeah, we've gone ooh, past the 25 minutes. I don't know. Now. That's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, anyway. Anyway, we'll see you so, next week. Yeah, goodbye, people. Thank Bye. you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.